Howdy, how y'all doing? Is this George Fitter Sranbar? Hope you guys are having a great day. Today is the 4th of July. I'm in Council, Idaho at the famous Porcupine Race. Yeah, it's not like Poxitani and Phil and it's going to pull it out. No, they got some porcupines named like Dozer, Spike. They're going to race them. And at this particular moment, they're bidding them off for some charity. And then they're going to race the porcupines. And whoever the winner is, is the world champion porcupine. So let's take a few minutes and let's go over there and see it. Starting with a small town parade, with lots of candy being tossed, outdoor barbecues, karaoke, a chainsaw contest, and even a firework display at the end of the day would be any small town's dream across the country to celebrate the 4th of July. There is one event though in Council Idaho that is completely unique and very prickly. People in this small town come out to the high school football field on the 4th for the annual and world famous porcupine race. Purchase your event souvenirs at $25 a pop and support your local community. These porcupines are paraded as heroes, the gladiators of the day. A spectacle for all to admire. The racers, called handlers, are mostly local youth who captured wild porcupines, race them, and then must return them back to where they were captured. This should be smell-o-vision. The porcupine is stinky. Its smell is known to be like stinky cheese or bad human body odor, you know, when you don't take a bath for weeks on end. Yeah, that bad. The porcupine is considered a rodent, like a mouse or a rat. They have brown, yellow fur, and stiff quills covering their body everywhere except on their soft fur covered stomachs. Can you have everybody stand? Gentlemen, please remove your hats as we play our national anthem. Just get some stuff squared away in our handler meeting, and then we will introduce all the handlers and their porcupines, and then I will do the Calcutta. We'll sell the teams, and they will race some porcupines. Calcutta, also called Calcutta Pool, is a form of betting pool from a competition or a tournament, such as this porcupine race in which the town folk bid for participating contestants or porcupine team in an auction with seeds from which are put into a pool for distribution such as winning to the bidder, charity, or even town operations. Second team. Let's go there, you tell me. All right, I'm here, my little 209. I bid 219, 22, 225. Mighty Sean, 225. I have 200 bid down, 25 and then 225 and then 225 and then I have 200, 225 tall. I have 200 bid down, 225 and then 225. I have 200 down, 25 and then 225 and then 225. I have 225 now, 50. I have 250 now, 75. I have 275 and then 275. I have 250, 75 down, 3. I have 300 down, 300 and 300 down, 25. I have 325 and then 325 and 50. I am 350, 350, you might as well. There's no friends at an auction. 350, now 75. I am 375, 375. I am 375, don't quit me now. We're just getting more again. I am 550. I am 525, 550. Nobody else saw it on 525, 550. And I sold right here in 525. Once the Calcutta is over with, it's time to do some racing. There will be a couple of heats and then the World Championship race. Let's take a few minutes and watch it. We're ready. You gonna stay in there? Yeah, I have to stay in there and watch 
down there. Okay. okay. <laughs> and I'm the one in shorts and sandals. Hey. Yes, I am. You didn't check the fine print, did you? No, All right. <laughs> yep. Okay, free information. When you get down to the end, cross the line. You need to put your bucket back over the top of them. Get them caught. Spectators, those of you that are close to the fence, you can get stuck by a quill, just so you know. I'm hoping so. And I don't think it's going to feel very good. Souvenir. But that's a pretty good souvenir to take home, I suppose. <laughs> anyway. Are we ready? Yeah. Council, I said, are we ready? Yeah. Handlers, you ready? On your mark, get set, go! Let's go! Brandon ain't feeling good this morning. He can't hear you. Brandon needs some help. Oh, this is, this is, this is good. Make it, guys. Brandon needs to hear you. Come on, Brandon. You got it. Come on, dude. You're so close. Come on, Brandon. You can do it. Hey, Chrissy, I saw you running down there. Where are you going? I didn't want to get in the way. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's understandable. All right, put your hands together. All right, our final four. We have Bob. Yeah. Dozer. Yeah. Maverick. Yeah. And Requeef. Okay, Maverick and Bob. All right, Council, are you ready? Yeah! Handlers, are you ready? Woo! On you more. We're at the championship. Get set. Go! I know it's part of the deal. It can happen. But you have fun though, right? That's good. All right, how was that? Yeah. Yeah. All right, first place. We have Dozer. 
Third place, Raquis. Third place, Maverick. And fourth place, Bob. Bob! Everybody, ladies and gentlemen, those of you that would like to pick up quills, now you are able to climb in and go search for some quills if you want. Just remember they're still sharp, so be careful with them. Wow, that was exciting. Quills everywhere, a few winners, some money passed around. That was an exciting contest. The Porcupine Race here at Council, awesome. Again, now that these races are over, the contestants will release those porcupine back into the area that they originally were caught. Now this road trip has been really fun. We've camped out here before, boating, swam in the lakes, jumped off a cliff into Lost Creek Falls, and even went mushroom hunting. There's so much beauty here in the Payette National Forest. It's a wonderful place to go. Now we appreciate each one of you for joining this particular adventure. Now do me a favor, comment below on your celebrations and your travels. Also, subscribe. Join all of us other travelers. Now do me a favor, hit that notification bell. Give me two thumbs up. This is George the Fearless Rambler celebrating our freedoms, this glorious country that has given us so much. Signing off.